Heavenly Father, we thank God for my wife and all of the people in New Beginnings Outreach International. We thank them for being here today. We want to just invite everybody uh, to worship with us today. Amen. And welcome you to New Beginnings Outreach International and those watching on the Slug TV Network. We about to get it in. Amen. Amen. Let's go. Let's go. Hallelujah. I said, yeah, I can't put that up there. I don't want to embarrass uh, y'all. And I was out of breath, so you know who's bad. <laughs> amen, amen. Have y'all week been good so far? Amen. Amen. I had to play that song today because I needed to muster up some praise. Come on. Sometimes, you know, you need to muster up some praise. You got to do stuff that you really don't want to do. I didn't want to do all this today and all that. But sometimes you got to push yourself. Everybody say push. Sometimes you got to push yourself. I don't want to do but you got to push. Every time I do this, I want y'all to say push. 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 Ooh, everybody know what push means. It says pray until something happens. I need something to happen in my life. things off of your life. Yeah. Stick those bondages and those yeah. things that try to hold you down and keep your mouth yeah. quiet. Uh -huh. Ooh, glory to God. The circumstances try to kidnap you. Circumstances try to abduct you. Circumstances make you tied up. But sometimes you got to break free. Yeah. So today was one of them days I said I don't really feel like I said freedom there it is Because this is the key When you don't want to do That's when you do yeah. Yeah. When you don't want to do That's when you do So that's the The breakthrough is on the other side Glory to God Let this bless you Your breakthrough is on the other side If I don't want to do Your breakthrough is on the other side If I don't want to do it Because if you stay in the land If I don't want to do it You ain't going to make it to the other side But what you got to do is Muscle so you can make it through glory to God to what you're expecting God to do for your life. If you didn't know I came to preach today, say Pastor, who came to preach? Who came to preach? And I came to eat. Because it's spiritual food that we give it today. Glory to God. Spiritual food today. So I just thank God because that just encouraged me. So when you're in a land of I don't want to do it, you have to push. To get you where you need to be Because this is the key The enemy knows what's on the other side Of your I don't want to do it mountain He knows there's a blessing over there He knows that your next is over there He knows that thing that you've been praying for Is over there But it's always a mountain It's always a crossroads It's always something that just want to stop you Right in your tracks But then you just gotta Because when you push The enemy knows something is happening So that was just, you know, that ain't none of my sermon, amen, but that felt good. <laughs> so that was your uh, your bread and your salad at Red Lobster. <laughs> your appetizer, amen. Appetizer, amen. And sometimes when you get done with that, you don't want to eat no more. <laughs> they bring the menu like, I'm not good. <laughs> you bring some more biscuits and I'll tell you in a minute. Right? Cheddar biscuits are Amen. It says God wants to be in covenant with us. God is looking for a commitment. I gotta say that twice. It said say two times. God wants to be in covenant with us. God is looking for a commitment. Glory to God. And I said this. There's nothing wrong with commitment. Woo. My God. My God. There's nothing wrong with commitment. Glory to God. It just feels bad when you hear it. Commitment. Commitment. And so there's nothing wrong with uh, commitment. The problem comes when others, things draw you away from the things that you're committed to. That's what, what happens when you hear, hear that word commitment. Other stuff tries to pull you immediately. When you hear the word commitment, you get pulled on this side or that side. So I'm going to talk about the wedding ring today. Glory to God. The wedding ring today. 
But we keep it in biblical. Say, keep it biblical. Keep it biblical. It says a wedding ring, a ring that you wear as a sign that you're married. Yeah. So today's message is called, put a ring on it slash committed. <laughs> put a ring on it slash committed. Glory yeah. to God. And what is commitment, Pastor? It says a promise to do or give something. A promise to be loyal. It's a lot of songs out here talking about lawyer, right? Yeah. I ain't gonna say it today. You know it. <laughs> it says to someone or something, the attitude of someone who works very hard to do something or support something. Amen. Yeah. It says the act of committing a charge or trust, commitment. So in essence, commitment says you are all in with the terms of the agreement of who you made your vows to in most cases, right? We know when you get married, you make your vows. You want to make them sound pretty because you got your whole family there. That is special. Your friend, your best friend is there. You want your vows to be the best vows in the world. It takes you 10 hours to write one vow. 10, 10 hours. So, in essence, <clears throat> excuse me, commitment <clears throat> says you are all in on the terms of the agreement or the terms of the vows in most cases. So, in marriage, you can't back out because you hit a rough patch. My brain starting to itch. That's when it get high in here. <laughs> you know how you got to beat your stomach. <laughs> so you can't back out when you hit a rough patch. My God, when, when, when it get rough with God, you can't just back out. You want to get to the other side of the blessings, but it's going to get a little bit more rocky before you get there. Because we say this is an uphill battle, right? But when it starts to get rocky, you just want to hop out of the car and say, I can't do this. I got motion sickness. I can't do this. I got motion sickness. I don't want to get on the plane. I'm scared of heights. But sometimes your destination is going to make you feel uncomfortable because you got to get to where you need to be. So when you hit a rough patch, you try to get off the bus. You try to get off the bus, but you got to think about those vows that you made. Glory to God. Lord, if you get me out of this, let this bless you. This is my vows. Lord, if you get me out of this, I'll live for you. He got me out the first time. Second time, Lord, you remember my first vow. If you get me out of this, I will live for you. He got me out the second time. I said, you know what? I can't keep going back on my vows. That's what people call you a Jesus freak. You got your Bible. You at work. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> I'm praying for this promotion. Because <laughs> you in a tight spot. Shut up, I see. And God knows sometimes you got to get in a tight spot to call on him. This is good today. Spiritual food. People quickly forget how God brought them out because when you're in a tight spot, you shrink. <laughs> and you think. <laughs> and you get low. You get low. You pray like never before. You saying stuff you didn't know. <laughs> I'm buying everything you want. <laughs> I'm buying a strong man. Because pressure, woo, let's, let's just let you. Pressure makes diamonds. So if you don't go through a tight spot or go through pressure, you can't be what you're called to be. God, I know you're thinking about it. You might have some little pressure right now. God, he in my house. <laughs> Glory to God. You may be in some stuff now. It says, but when God brings you out, this is the key. You're out. Amen. He brought you out that tight spot. You're out. You know what? And now you're out your mind. Because now you're out that tight spot and you forgot about who brought you out. Woo, this is good. We flowing, right? So now you're out. You was in a tight spot. You out. You out of there. You, you're out your minds. You know why? Because you're out your mind because you think you can do it all by yourself. So God has to remind us about the covenant we made in our tight spot. Woo! My God. Pastor Wall, I'm chopping big trees down the day. Big trees with a butter knife. Like, I... Because this is the stuff that we have to talk about, right? So no matter if I'm in a tight spot or not, I will be in God. Amen. My God. I will be in God. So uh, sometimes we get out of that place and we're out of our minds, glory to God, because now we start to fill ourselves again, right? Yeah.